Welcome back everyone Grogen here and today we are back with some of the Mortuary Assistant. So we are just going to go straight in, we're going to click on New Shift. Now I am aware it's a little bit different than the demo and looks kind of good. I think we start off with kind of like a tutorial level and then we'll probably do it to see how long that takes and then we'll come back for another episode and we'll do the, the first proper embalming. I'm I think so glad we'll see how it goes but 1998. <laughs> Thank you. So this is I'll never understand in Connecticut. Such a macabre feel, There's nothing it looks disturbing like, about it. It's just that it I'm looks like we're sitting in a cafe you, with our mum. I really am. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or they actually have everyone they need? But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. So even a mum doesn't like it, yeah? Just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. So it sounds like we're going to work in a mortuary. And it's already, it's already got some creepy horror stories Sorry. about it. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. And our mum is phased, but we're not. I mean, we probably should be, right? So I, what I don't have we know got if there? I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. I wonder what this is from. It's like a little necklace with a cross on it. Thanks. You reckon it'll keep us safe? All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Okay, so we're not brand new in the job. We're we're going to we're actually going to work. So it's just another day in the office, I guess. Riverfields Mortuary. We are pulling up outside. I think. I think. Can't move yet. Doesn't look too creepy from the outside. I mean, it has kind of got a a bit of a look about it. There we go. We're coming in. All right, here we go. Come on, let's get going. Right, we have got a note on the door. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. Yes, good luck. She's saying that like it is our first day there, so we're going to grab the pencil. Use to sign the paperwork left on the door. Right, mouse button. Pencil. I can't, I can't use that here. <laughs> it's just sold us to use it here. Right, we might have to get a bit closer. We might have to turn that sensitivity down a little bit. Oh, there we go. We've done it. We've done it. Right, so that's that. Let's just have a little quick round on the desk and see if there's anything for us. There's nothing in the drawer. Nothing in any of the drawers, actually. That one's okay. That one's okay. So, let's see what we've got in here. This is a little store room. We've got a few things on the wall. Oh, we've got a fuse box. It's got no fuses in it. Kind of getting pushed back when we turn around. That's weird. There's a little mirror we can see ourselves. Right, let's go in the door. As soon as we open the door, the music gets creepy. Like a horrible little Rebecca, ambient sound. Oh, great. Perfect timing. You right? I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage. Mr. Dalton? Page. How you doing, Dalton? Moving again. gurney. Hold E. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Right, that is a little bit better. I'm going to lower the sensitivity just a little tiny bit more because I think that's kind of okay. To bring the body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name and pull the rack out. Move the cart over to it. Okay. The noise in here is horrible. Right, that's where he's got to go. Okay, so we're going to open this. We're going to pull you out. And we're going to stick the guy. Mr. Dalton is going back into cold storage. And then we're going to just have to push you in maybe just like that and shut the door oh i didn't mean to do that just click it we don't have to pull and there's the other one that we've got to get so we're going to open you pull you out i didn't see the lady's name i didn't see her name doesn't matter 
Okay, that's that one. Push that back in. We'll have a look who she is when we grab her in a sec. Because I'm going to shut the door anyway. Hey, right, whoops. <laughs> Spun around a little bit too fast there. Right, we have got Dorothy Page. Does she look like a Dorothy? She's definitely dead. Oh, look at that. It's got little marks on the floor where you can go and burn the bodies. Cool. It's, it is a little bit slow moving up, but it's a lot better than it was in the demo. We can't sprint or anything. But we're going to wheel her through. Connect it to this little table. All right. I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? Oh, a clipboard used... I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Talks, doesn't he? A clipboard used for forms and keeping track of the mortuary tasks. Large items. So we can only keep so many items, large and small. So we've got two things we can put in our hands and then loads of spaces for our pockets. So we can only carry two things in our hands. Anything else we can't do. So view the clipboard. It's the space. So we've got to check the head, shoulders, arms, legs. And that's about it, really. So let's start with the head. Inspecting the body. Nothing on the face. That side of her head is fine. This side of her head is fine. Okay. Nothing there. Top half of her body. We can't see anything there, so let's just turn it over. There is some markings on her back. Right, we've done that one. We'll do... Uh, what the hell was that? Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Oh, the window shut. <laughs> Right, nothing on the front of her hand, nothing on the back. Let's check her feet. Right, she's got some scratches on her foot. Okay, so we found two things wrong with that. I think there's only three. Oh no, just saying there's six there. Six things to check. Right, there's a marking on her leg. We'll turn that. Oh, oh, you can't turn the feet over. We'll check her hand. There's a mark on that side of her arm. We'll rotate. This side is fine. We need to check her torso. Right, there's a bit of blood there, but that one isn't able to be pressed. And we've already done them. So, is that everything? I don't think it is, you know, because I'm sure it says. Did we do that one? We must have. I don't remember doing that. Do we need to do it from the body? No. Okay, so maybe we've done that one. Right, let's see. We've got five out of six, so we are missing something. We're missing something. Let's go around and check her head again, just in case there was something we missed. Nothing on that side. Nothing there. Just got a bit of blood there, but I don't think we could have clicked on that one. And that side of her head is okay. So, we have found something on her right shoulder. We got, I don't know what that top word says. Hemogonia and blemishes. Mild, abr mild abrasion on her leg, blemishes on the other one, contusion. We might be missing this right arm. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, so we're not seeing anything around here. Let's rotate that again. But we did check both of them. And there's nothing else on this side. Right. And we did check a hand, did we? Oh, there, Great. there it was. Come on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't stick it in the Don't computer. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After okay. that, we'll get started. All right. So we need to go to the record system. And we need to put a name is Dorothy Page. What was what? that? You said I that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y that way yeah. the guy whispered in her oh. ideas, right? Sorry. So Dorothy Page, she was 87 years old. Right shoulder. Right arm. Right leg. Left leg. And left arm. Here we go. Submit all the data. Well, I thought he'd gone then. He's just standing there looking at us like a weirdo. Right. Get the paperwork. And go and take that. Now, I thought these footprints were going to be something creepy, right? But I think it's just showing us where we're going. Because look, it takes us right to there. So we'll put you. Embalming report. Sam to embalm. Right. All right. So, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. Thank you very much. Monitoring. Thank you. Everything's right. on your list there if you need it. You want to stop talking to us? <laughs> Let us get on with our job. Why are the jaw shut with a needle injector and settings needles? Needle injector and settings needles. So that looks like... Setting needles? Is it that one? Setting needles? And is that going to be the needle injector? It is. Right. 
So we got a wire at a jaw shut. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive the barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Okay. So lift this up. Press. Oh, that, that's grim. That's horrible. Put the eyes on it. Okay, next one. One more, maybe. And then wire it shut. Oh, look at that. You're twisting the wires. Oh, we missed. We dropped you. Sorry. There we go. There we go. All right. So next, insert the eye caps and keep the eyes shut. Okay. Eye caps. There they are. I'm going to go around this way because that little thing over there seems to be in the way for that side. Use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. We're going to open you, open you, put the eye caps in, and shut. All right. Is that to stop the eyes sinking in, maybe? That's that one. Mix some balm and fluid in the pump. We need loads of material, loads of stuff there. Glutaraldehyde, methanol, humusense, and formaldehyde. Oh, look at that. They're all there in a bottle ready for us. Oh, shit. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep doing your thing. I don't think that's what that was. Formaldehyde. Lieutenant of the air. That one. What was this? Humusens. And methanol. Next up is make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with a scalpel. Scalpel. So this is going to be the throat, isn't it? Sounds like. Oh, look at that. We just cut the neck open. Some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item. Open the quick inventory. Well, I don't think we've got the items on us yet because we need forceps to clamp and tubing to both veins and connect to the embalming pump. So forceps and tubing. Here's the tubing. Where's that the forceps? There we go. Artery forceps. Right, so artery forceps and PVC tubing. Right, she's connected up to the, the thing. It's weird, right? <laughs> it looks horrible. Engage pump and let the body drain. Right. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit loud. That was a little bit loud. There's all the blood and fluids draining from the body into the pump. It's going right down the plug hole. You can't move when you're ducking down. Oh, that, just, that bottle's on the floor there. And we're seeing these two knock over as well. So we've just got to wait until that starts running clear, I think. After this, turn off pump and re remove tubes and close incision. And it's kind of loud. I don't know whether you can still hear me over it because it's definitely me. Right, there we go. Is it done? Looks like, yep. Yeah. Turn off pump. Do that, and that, and back. That all done? Yeah. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. So we need a bag, and we need one of these. And we're going to fill it up with our cavity fluid. Right, so we need to stick this into her stomach. Yeah. Insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of the embalming fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. Okay. So it's pushed in. It's not doing nothing. Here we go. So we are filling it up with something. <laughs> we're filling it up with something. We just drained all the fluids out and now we're pumping stuff back into it. The noise is horrible, isn't it? You can see the skin lifting up as you're doing it. Can't do this if you're squeamish, can you? Right, this is the last one. A little bit there more. Um, mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner and then pour, pour into the embalming pump. Okay. Oh, we've got to follow the feet. Follow the feet into this room. Okay, so we got one of them cleaner base. Put it into the machine. I think we've got it. Yeah, it's hand cleaner. And then we are going to go and put this. I don't know the way he's looking at us. It's something definitely weird about you. 
isn't it? Doesn't say nothing, he just stares at us. Tank cleaner. Okay, so we're cleaning all the blood and stuff out of the tank. And then apply moisturizer to the facial features. And then return the body to the cold storage. So where's the moisturizer? Moisturizer and wipes. Is that still not done yet? We'll wait for that to finish and then we'll do the next bit. So this has gone kind of quick, but as, as we can tell, everything lights up for us. So it is kind of like a tutorial section, I think. Right, move the wipe across the face while holding down interact until the lotion is used. It'll be all nice and clean. The state? Whoa! <laughs> well, we just bends all the skin off, haven't we? What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. It won't let us pick it up. I didn't want to go. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll Something get the definitely... last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Something definitely dodgy about him. Something definitely dodgy. Right, we are going to go. Who's this picture on the wall? She's creepy as well. Or has she just got her eyes closed? Looks closed when you're closer, but it looks open when you're further away. Like a little optical illusion. All right, let's get going. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. He did kind of push it out, didn't Hello? he? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did it's anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. Hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. You got the job. In your personal belongings drawer in the back room. Personal belongings drawer in Thank the back you. room. I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So we're heading back into work already. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Uh, where are my keys? Off to get keys. Oh, look at this. We can open all the drawers and stuff. Let's have a little nose. The nicest people are dead. <laughs> The music band t-shirts and sports top. Right, can we open these ones too? Oh, we can. Right, we're just being a bit nosy before we leave, right? Because why not? Why not? Let's turn the radio off. Ah, oh, didn't want to open that. Can we turn the telly on? No. Right, there's the keys on the table. But we're just going to have a little, a little quick look. We can't open any of them ones. Some donut stuff, microwave, fridge, anything good in the fridge. Happy tofu. Mm, a drink. Milk. Looks like some fast food cartons or maybe eggs. I don't know. Can't tell what they are. We can't click them anyway. Some cheese and things. All right, let's shut the fridge. Nothing in there. Right, it kind of looks like that's everything. So let's grab our keys off the table. What's this one? Embalm. The history of embalming. All right, let's grab the keys. Keys to the apartment car and the front door of Riverfields. Okay. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use a temporary item by directly interacting with the object that requires it. Okay. Oh, yeah, it shows us on the right of the screen. Not like a weird little seat in the front of a house. Okay. So we have turned up back at work. It's nighttime, it's dark, and. Okay. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Hey, right. do you want to shut the door so the car doesn't get wet? Have we got anything in the boot? You can't open it. We can't escape because it looks like the gate shuts. Oh, we got a room door there. That one's locked. That one's locked. I was just checking for like any escape routes and stuff, you know? <laughs> just in case. Riverfields Mortuary. 
All right, we are going in. Right. Let's shut the door behind us. Get started. <gasps> oh. He's locked us in. Ah, phone's ringing. Hi, Rebecca. M Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just like we're shaking. <laughs> What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Is it Look, ghost bound to us? Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't <laughs> leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you. Or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Stay calm. We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Stay Treat it like a normal day? Help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. <sighs> Damn it, what the what? fuck? Well, there's a box with our name on it. But we can't interact with this, so I don't know what she what he's left for us. This is so stupid. It says our name Some on it though. Hazing for the new girl or something. Just it's it's like a bit of a trial, isn't it? Play along and do your job. Right, there's nothing we can interact with on the table, but he said he's left us some stuff. So let's just check the drawers in that one. There is stuff, but we can't interact with it. What? Oh. oh, we got some fuses. Right. We seen a fuse box in here, didn't we? Let's just have a quick look. It's got one missing. Right, let's go and grab one. And we're going to put that back in. But do you know what? We're going to do that one thing. And then we are going to finish off today. Because I think if we start another job now, it could end up being like an hour, hour and a half episode. And I think that's going to be a bit too long. So, oh Jesus. Bit of thunder. Never hurt anyone. Right, so that is where we are going to finish off. In the next episode, we will start doing this sex next cadaver. And we'll see if we can not be possessed, I guess. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are going to enjoy the new series. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Let us know what you think so far. I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined us members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.